Welcome to the channel, I'm Jay Malone, and today I'm going to show you how to create custom brushes in Photoshop CC 2018. If you're new to the channel and you would like to learn more about photography, drones, technology, and other related things, then start off by hitting that subscribe button. When you do, tap the little bell icon next to it. That way you won't miss anything. Using custom brushes is a great way to watermark your photography or else if you have a brand or a business and use a logo repeatedly, this is a great way to use it without having to go and find your logo file and put it into your letterhead or business card. Using a custom brush is the way to go. Let's jump into Photoshop and let me show you how it's done. All right, I have a blank document open. This is actually a five by seven size document. I always recommend creating something at a little higher resolution than you think you're going to need it. It just works out much better. So we're going to create a brush here in a five by seven size. And I actually have two layers here, two text layers. I can turn them on. I have photo company. It's very generic, but uh, I just stuck it in here to show you. And all I've done with the word photo, it, uh, the opacity is at 100%, the color black. And then on the word company, I just lowered the opacity to 50%, uh, therefore it's given that gray. You can see if I increase the opacity, it's back up there. But we'll just uh, go back to 50% here for this video. And let's just say that this was your company name, you wanted to create a logo out of this, or if it was a logo that you already have, um, you can use that. It doesn't have to be text. It could be an image. Uh, you can pretty much make a custom brush out of just about anything. And creating a custom brush is actually very easy to do. You want to go up to Edit, and then you will see Define Brush Preset. Click on that, and you'll notice it actually shows up your little brush there. You can see it pretty small, um, and then it has a name out beside it. Change that to something. We're going to change this to Photo Company, and then click OK and you have created a brush. Without doing anything, you'll notice in the top uh, left-hand corner, if you are selected on the brush, it already shows the, the little icon right there. But let's jump over to a different document. I have this document open. This is a senior photo that I took recently. And um, if you'll see, I have the brush selected already, but if you didn't have that selected, click on the brush and then um, click the little arrow here so you can open the preset picker and then you can find your different brushes that you have and you'll see your newly created brush right there. Uh, you wanna click on that. And now we need to adjust the size and there's different ways of adjusting the size but I'm going to just tap on the left bracket key and it will adjust the size down. And let's just say we wanted to make this a large logo. Uh, create a new layer. I always recommend creating a new layer for your brush Tap on the little button down here on the bottom to create a new layer. And we'll select the white color. So we're gonna choose white. And you'll notice when I click right here, it'll actually show or it'll represent the 50% opacity for the word company. So you can see there, you may want to use just a, you know, a solid color instead of lowering the opacity. But if that's the look that you wanna go for, you can definitely do that with different shades. But yeah, we can take this brush and decrease the size smaller. We can increase it uh, very large. Whatever you want to do, now that you have a brush, you can uh, use it in many different ways. We're going to um, undo those because we don't need them on there. But it's pretty much that simple. You can do this with logos, with text, whatever you have, you can create brushes, you can change the colors. So if we wanted to use a different color than white, we'll choose red and we'll go back to that layer, choose our brush, lower our size back down, and there we have a red watermark or a red logo there. Once you have it on a different layer, you can also change that opacity. You can see how you can change those too. And that's pretty much all there is to creating a custom brush. I use this for business cards, letterheads, anything that I need a logo on. Uh, I make a custom brush out of my logo and just use that brush over and over. Hopefully you found this helpful. If you did, please hit that thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. And let me know down in the comments below, what would you use a custom brush for? 
If you want to see some more tutorial videos, click over here. And if for some reason you're not already subscribed to this channel, then click on my face in the little circle subscribe icon right below this video. That'll get you subscribed. Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing. And until next time, God bless.